Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love and laughter. Capricorn, the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the hanged man energy. What we see is your person is trying to look at things from a different perspective. They're trying to read the tea leaves, you know, the signs, the symbols in their life that they're seeing. In terms of your relationship, Hierophant energy is very traditional beliefs. It's a belief in traditional values. It's, it's very much Taurus energy. They want to make an offer. Spirit is saying that the energy that's present here in this uh, relationship is endless possibility. We have the falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy. So there's something your person doesn't really understand about this love relationship that is making them feel a little bit uh, intimidated by it is what I'm seeing. I get the intentionality. So this person really has the intention of making things work with you. And that really is borne out by what I see here. So Capricorn, when we look at their thoughts about you, we see someone who feels that you are absolutely their soulmate. Look at that. Two of Cups, Six of Cups, Scorpio energy, Cancerian energy, two hearts beating as one. You may have known this per person for a very long time or even in another lifetime, but it, it, they want to grow old with you. We see them feeling very passionate, but they're not really showing the intensity of their love. They feel as though they're in over their head. When we get the Page of Cups, we, we have somebody that doesn't feel like they can manifest you. That's like, well, when pigs fly, I'll be able to move forward very quickly. They see in terms of their thoughts about you, they're not sure that you want their advances. They want to come in, in a, with a very romantic Pisces energy, an offer. We see a picnic, we see a bottle of wine, beautiful roses from, you know, upscale roses. We see someone who has a message for you with this beautiful envelope and a red seal. But they're up in their head, Gemini energy. They're really up in their head about coming forward. They feel so much passion and desire for you. But they feel almost like they, it's almost like a little boy with a crush on a teacher. You know, like, oh, I'm in kindergarten. I don't know what I have to offer you, but boy, oh boy, I want it. Can we be together? <laughs> I'm thinking of the French President Macron. Uh, anyway, I digress. So what I'm getting here is that in terms of their heart space, love, 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 incredible love, Ten of Cups, twice the clarifier. Um, it's a new love relationship for many of you. It is a person who it doesn't isn't really feeling confident about themselves they're holding back but they have fire in their belly and they want to make a major offer look at this the ace of cups new beginning in love the ace of cups to the two of cups so we have the ten of cups here twice that is just joy this is a relationship of pure love in the heart space pisces energy so you may be dealing with the pisces cancerian water is strong here in this in this reading incredible maybe the best the best reading you might have of the entire year that i've done for you we get the energy of their intentions their intentions are to choose you but to go about this in a very quiet way they're not going to talk a lot about it uh, but we also see that your person the Three of Swords, they have a heartbreak and they want a victory and the Death card is a requirement here. For them to be able to come forward towards you, they have to end what appears to be a third party situation. So it does speak to the fact that your person has to go through the eye of the needle. They have the intention of doing so. But we also see them, the spiritual narcolepsy is just like asleep at the wheel. That's all it means. It really isn't horrible. It just says that your person's caught up. You know, whenever we get Pisces energy, very idealistic energy, energy that says, I want, I want, I want. I don't really know how it's going to happen. And we can see, I don't know how it's going to happen or if it will happen with that page of cups. 
So we see your person moving rapidly forward. They want a victory to, with you. They intend to have, they intend to say to you, honey, I'm home, but they know that to have a victory, they have to have an ending. So they can't really do this until this third party situation uh, provides them with some sort of victory in life. We get the six of wands twice, so they are very, very determined to have a victory with you. When we get the three of pentacles, we see that that's a card of collaboration, of building a life together. It's a card that says that you may have worked together. That may be how you have met. But we also see that you're really being uh, informed here that your person's actions include moving forward. Your person does not want to be stalled out. They don't want to be unraveled or undone by this energy. So they definitely know that in their intentions is to end something else. The Six of Swords is moving forward, is healing. The Page of Swords is like really watching you. Also seeking enlightenment, seeking the truth, the whole truth, trying to find out where you're at in life. The Ace of Wands is all about a new passionate beginning as King of Pentacles energy. So your fellow Earth sign here is your outcome, and that's Taurus energy. Taurus is very much the energy, you know, your person wants a traditional love relationship up to and including marriage. You know, sometimes it takes, um, sometimes people just live together like they're married, but I really see this person as most likely, you know, wanting that traditional uh, security in your relationship. So Capricorn, we're going to look and see why they're all in their head here about a love offer. Okay, here a font card. So it can mean also, too, that they can't make a big offer to you or they're holding back because they have to. They're in a relationship currently that's very traditional. But we see them wanting to change. Ten of Swords reversed. Okay, so we go from the Nine to the Ten of Swords reversed. So they feel as though they can't quite end it yet. They feel, yep, here we go. They feel as though when pigs fly, they can manifest this. There's children involved, third party situation, third party situation with probably children. You know, I will say to you, this is like a buffet table. A general reading is not a personal reading. As most of you know, energies can be vice versa, but take what's yours and leave the rest. There's nothing like a personal reading. I encourage everyone to get a personal reading if you really have a love interest that you're, you wonder, because a lot can be answered in, in a 15-minute telephone reading or a 10-minute telephone reading. A lot can be covered very quickly. So we get this Eight of Wands energy for you. We get this person is thinking that they want to move forward very rapidly. You know, they see you as youthful, as exuberant, as somebody who, you know, page of coins, somebody who has some artistic talent. Uh, I'm just getting that, you know, this sort of psychic download that, that that is some sort of artistic energy and something that they also may have met you during a period of time or in a situation where you were actively developing that. Why do we have the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups? Boy, when they think of you, they are absolutely in love. Sun card, you're the ha happiest card in the deck. It's Leo energy. It's virtually the essence of life without the sun. You know, everything. nothing nourishes or grows. Nothing is, is capable of, of going forward without the sun energy. That is a card that they feel rejoiceful and happy when they're with you. There's nothing like it. There's just nothing like it. The Ten of Cups energy, the Fool card, they absolutely want this beginning with you. They, The Fool card is throwing caution to the winds, taking the leap of faith, and that is what's in their heart space. They want to make a rather big offer. Not a small offer, a very big offer. When we have the Ace of Coins, it can mean an engagement ring, the thoughts that they want a victory. Again, Six of Wands, Six of Wands, Six of Wands. That also has the uh, possibility of being a very public engagement where, you know, well, we're in front of the Jumbotron at the Super Bowl, and, you know, I'm going to pop the question there. The Hermit card, though, says that they have not, they do not, they have not told you, I don't think, the extent with which they love you. The Four of Pentacles are holding on to you. They're really holding on to you. They, um, in their heart space, they feel as though you're their soulmate. Again, three soulmate cards, Gemini energy. Uh, also the energy called the choice back when. And look at this again. 
No, this is just incredible. The nine of wands is they have fire in their belly for it and to defend their, their love. They want to defend this love relationship. Right now, you might not be in contact because they feel as though, you know, to have a victory. It just shows that they're searching for answers. And you may or may not be in contact. But right now, it just shows them trying to seek fulfillment. What are the answers? They want to become enlightened. In terms of their intentions with you, they want to choose you. They intend on choosing you. The hanged man, Pisces energy says it's not right at this time. Hanged man, hanged man. So we see this person not taking action at any time in the near future. They feel as though there's a lot of ground to cover, literally and figuratively. The Three of Swords card is indicating the Temperance card. They don't want to reconcile a third party situation. They really want to offer you that cup of love. They want new love. They don't want to go back to old love. They don't want to, they really don't want to make a relationship work that is a marriage currently. Let's see what the death card is about here, my friends. Capricorn, Capricorn. It's your birthday is coming up soon. Five of Cups. They have a lot of sadness, remorse, regret. Uh, they feel as though they may not have handled things every, you know, exactly the right way. They have a lot to talk to you about. They are coming in to talk to you. They're going to tell you the, the information that they want to share with you is that they're going to apologize to you. They're rushing in to apologize. They're rushing in to tell you that they didn't really understand the power of this relationship, the power of this love relationship when it was early, the days of wine and roses and passion and, you know, just that romantic possibility. But the Eight of Coins says that they want to invest in this relationship. The Eight of Coins is they want to get to know you better. They want to invest at a very high level. You know, we get to the Nine of Coins and then the Ten of Coins, we have marriage. So Eight of Coins is a very stable energy. The number eight is the infinity symbol. They see you as the one. Why do we have the Six of Wands here three, four times? Three times for sure. Yep, they want to invest and they haven't been able to. So they're very determined on investing at a higher level than this. They they feel as though they haven't really put on a good display for you of investment. They want a victory with this Eight of Pentacles. We also get the Nine of Wands reversed. Nine of Wands reversed, not Knight of Wands. Uh, we get the Three of Coins. So they don't want to be in a, I don't often say this, the Three of Coins is not really a third party situation. But what I see is they don't want to see you at work and have to deal with not being able to be with you. Like that's painful. It's almost like they might even avoid you if you're in a work situation. Six of Swords healing, the two healing cards right here. Six of Swords is Aquarius energy, enlightenment. The star card is Aquarius energy. Again, enlightenment really speaks to the fact that your person sees you as their hopes for dr and dreams for love. With the sun card, we have the luminaries here. Um, we have just, they see you as a rock star. They definitely see you as they need to give up the burdens that they're carrying right now to have you. Again, Father of Pentacles, Father of Pentacles, that is the Taurus King. So your person, you know, the, and the Mother of Pentacles, Capricorn, there you are in the reading. Very powerful energy that they just see you as the one. They have great clarity. The Ace of Wands energy for you. This person wants to come in and make an offer. Very passionate, Daughter of Wands. So that is, you know, basically a Page of Wands energy. They want to throw caution to the winds. They absolutely want you. Truth, clarity. The, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, that's incredible. And the Ace of Coins, you have four Aces here. So it's phenomenal energy for you, the Magician card, they are manifesting you. That is Virgo energy, the, the ability to problem solve whatever is going on in this relationship to manifest you. Capricorn, you and Virgo are really a very, uh, very powerful readings. Uh, if you have a, a Virgo placement, I highly recommend you look at that uh, reading. We get change. Yep, dragon, dragonfly spirit. There's a lot of change that's coming up. There's uh, the energy and the fire in the belly to do it. They see you as their refuge, the place that they want to be. Uh, that honey, I'm home card. And stability, earth spirit, what can we say? Capricorn, 
absolutely may be the best reading of the year for you. All the Earth sign readings this morning were really uh, quite unusual. Uh, but Cindy, a love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.